Hello, and welcome. I hope you guys are ready to fight the Ender Dragon. And uh, I've made uh, some adjustments. I uh, upgraded, or enchanted a bow and got that. I'm going to end up picking that back up. Oh, I uh, made a slight adjustment, which you might be able to see. I uh, did some building. It's not exactly 100% beautiful or 100% guest proof, but it works. So, it's not that long of a distance. It was about what I thought. It was about a 130-ish or so. But, uh, as you can see, over there is where we came through. So that's the fortress right there. And this is the portal to the end. So, I think it's time we just jump in and kick some ass. That was kind of a failed jump. And as usual, start out under the ground. How far under am I? Oh, it's not that bad. What? Someone sounds very angry. Let's hope that everything goes as well as the last time I fought the Ender Dragon. Whoa! Ender Dragon has new sounds. You hear that? Hmm. Oh, come on. Be nice if I could see where I was even hitting. But, uh, 1.4.4 is officially out. And it's got a really weird torch bug, and it seems to just be a particle bug in general. Oh, How many arrows do I have left? Oh, hey, hit that. That one's still up there, isn't it? And... Uh, no? Up? Up? Down? I knew that wasn't going to make it, and yet I tried. Come on. But do you see the uh, the particle glitch that was going on there? How it kind of... Did he just damage an Enderman? She? It? Oh, I heard it with that one. Finally got that one. Is there any left? That is the great question. I hate how film grainy it looks here. It really kind of hurts my eyes. Oh, there's one. Hey! Hey! Stop it. Go away. I see at least two more over there. That's all I see currently, I 
think other than those two, I might have gotten every single one of them. Oh, no, there's one more up there. I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to snipe that one from down here. Can I not put that up? Does it even hurt me? Guess not. Did I get it? Just didn't hear it? What's going on here? Why does it look like the dragon is frozen over there? I'm slightly concerned now. Okay, I'm guessing it was just beyond a number. Where are you going, dragon? I have about a stack and a half of arrows left. Oh, I missed. As far as I can tell, there's none of the little healer things left. Dragon, come on. Oh. 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 Well, he's done a half. Come back here. I'm not done with you yet. Damn it. That noise is getting very irritating very quickly. If you would uh, come over here and fight me, it would be most appreciated. Come on. This stupid dragon. So, my nephew got Black Ops 2, and because I'm a nice person, I haven't been wanting to lag his playing in the game despite the fact that Call of Duty sucks. Especially the new one. I watched him play it some, and it is really bad. But, uh,. Yeah, so 
I had been not doing anything till his whole hype with the uh, the whole Black Ops 2 shit went away. He even he says it's bad, but he wants to get his money's worth. Plus the fact that he's one of those people that are dumb enough to stand in line for six hours to get something. So, shame on him, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, so that's why there haven't been videos more frequently. Uh, I've also s taken to playing Champions Online again. Which... Is, uh... About like I remember, but... Things seem a little bit better, I think. But, uh... Urgh! Die! Oh, come on. How about you do me a favor and just die? Damn it! One more arrow. Uh, 58. Come on. Come on. That is some crazy dubstep. Holy shit. Mmm. Glorious experience levels. Some fell in here, didn't they? I could have swore some fell in the, uh, little pool here. Well. In the end, um, but uh, if you want to see what it says in there and whatnot, and uh, you can go watch my uh, ultra hardcore series I did. Now, I can understand if you're not willing to watch the entire thing, so you can always just go to the last episode and watch me fight the dragon there, and I have the uh, um thing. I read through that entire last bit. So, I'm sure by now most people know what it says, but if you don't know and you want to know, you can always go watch my Ultra Hardcore. Or if you just want to read it, want to hear me read it to you, you can also go watch it. But uh, if you can't tell, I've been preparing a bit for making the Enderman farm. Because I have half slabs upon half slabs upon half slabs. So, it's going to be just like every other Enderman farm, pretty much. You know, pretty simple. It's going to have enchanting, it's going to have an anvil, all that jazz. But, uh, I'm sure a few people have done it and whatnot, but as I'm sure you may or may not know, the Enderman farms can actually get screwed up when you zone away because of the fact that the repeaters get stuck on. And what that means is that essentially I want to set up a basically a reset switch. So whenever I go there to use it, I'll press it. It'll send a signal the whole way up. It'll activate all the pistons, which I didn't bring the pistons, but that is something for next time. But anyhow, I don't doubt that'll make it the whole way back, but who knows, maybe it'll pick up a pigman along the way. But uh, basically, I'm going to set up a reset switch to reset all the pistons, otherwise you have to manually reset them, and it's a pain in the ass. I th this does look like a good way to go. The exit portal's over there somewhere. Uh, I hate using half slabs like this. It's disturbing. The good news is, is I'll be able to tell how far away from this platform I am by uh, 
how many of these I've placed. Now, I want the very outer edge of the main platform where I build the Enderman farm to be no closer than 128 blocks. Which, because of where I'm building, it should be fine. Uh, I think I might build an extra, like, wall or two or something like that to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong. I'm probably going to put a rail line in here at some point, which will be easy enough. I'm going to make this path three wide. So, basically, it's going to take a lot of blocks with just this. Ugh, shift key's getting tired. And by that I mean my pinky. So, we're apparently 60 blocks, well, 68 blocks away already. I think I kind of want to go to like 140, 150 just to be sure. Man, I really hope I don't fall off of here. I was going to go use all these enchanting levels and I didn't do that. I am a terrible person. I'm going to put them both into picks, I think. Uh, you know, two sets of 30 into picks. Because I really, really want a silk touch pick. And I don't have one. I do have diamonds. It's not an amazing amount. But I think I'm going to make another branch mine underneath of the stronghold. Because I can. Let's see, it should be 128, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm going to go to 140, I think. Is that right? That's 12. It should be 140. And I think at 141, I'll start the actual platform. Needs enough room for a full enchanting table, an anvil, and maybe like a wheat farm or something. I don't know. You know, I didn't count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it ten from here? Yeah, it was. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that makes this 21 across. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. If you haven't established it yet, I'm making a uh, square. Although, I can't make any guarantees that I actually counted that right now. Because apparently doing the numbers in my head is hard. But, you know what? If it's off, it's off. I don't care. I probably won't notice. But, I know it needed to be at least 16 wide in the end because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up the uh, the platforms up top. Who Does this look right? I think I need to go one more. Uh hopefully I'm not doing this wrong. Looks right. Own. And this is just me throwing some building in at the end of this, because... Okay. It could be worse. I could be one out. W one out's a pain in the ass, because I would have to pretty much lose every block I had placed in the line, or extend the other side one as well. But in this case, a section of floor on the inside that I was going to do anyhow is now filled in, so... Oh... Uh, ho ho! I think I retrieved both of them.
But, yeah, I like the half slabs, and I like how they look. So, I realize that almost everyone ends up building their Enderman farms using half slabs, but that's because they look good. And you can't build it using some materials. I don't know what all Endermen can pick up exactly, but I know they can't pick up half slabs. And I know they're technically just stone slabs, not half slabs, but the half there is to state that they're a half block. That and... I swear they used to be called half slabs at some point. Just like gunpowder used to be called sulfur, so on and so forth. As the game progresses, things change names. Man, playing games without music kind of drives me insane, but there isn't anything I can actually really legally use other than Minecraft's music, and... Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, if I had, like, some of the records, like Ward and whatnot, I'd probably be okay with it. But I'm not a big fan of Cat, which Cat's the golden record, I believe. Which is the one that I have. It's okay, it's better than the default music in the game, but I really like uh, Ward. Ooh. Man, I thought there was a lot less space behind me than there was. And my shift let go. I thought I was about to run straight off the edge. It scared the shit out of me. Not literally, but you know what I mean. So... How's this for a really boring video? But I'm building over the void with some decent stuff on me. Mostly just a ton of fucking slabs. But, uh, basically I want to get as much of the base framework done as I can, and I didn't want to just be, you know, oh, okay, kill the dragon, we're done now. Alright, I need to stop that. So, I don't know, this may, may may take the, I should put in, I should really put an annotation warning or something. The rest of this video is literally just placing half slabs. If this is not something you're willing to watch, then this is technically the end of the video and you should consider turning it off. Or, I'll leave it there so people can complain at me not putting it there to warn them. I don't know how many of these I've lost into the void. But I still have quite a few. You know, if I'm going to build the little landing spot an even number, I would think this platform would need to be an even number. Which means I've just found a serious flaw in my entire everything. One of these sides needs to be wider. And I think it's going to be this one. So the path is going to be four wide, which is going to end up taking a ton of blocks. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is right there. But this should be 22, so I actually want to count 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Put it right about here. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Very good. So if I want them to fall there, this is going to need to be 16 wide. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, so three off on both sides. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna w need to do water scaffolding or something to get underneath because I want this to be adjustable between. You know what? I'll just leave it in XP mode because there's really no point in adjusting it otherwise in my personal opinion uh, because of the fact that you're gonna get a ton of ender pearls doing XP farming it's not like I'm ever gonna come here just to get ender pearls Let's see one two three This is full block, full block, full block. Okay. Oh. Oh. That is right. Right? Oh no! Probably think I might take these out uh, just because I don't want anything getting in the way when I'm trying to XP farm. Now they shouldn't be able to escape that. And that's a full block. This is going to take a lot of half slabs, but luckily I made a ton of stone in preparation. Okay, I swear. I'm going to stop very soon. I think you've got the base understanding of what I'm doing here. Which is basically I'm going to put this wall the whole way around. This path is going to be four wide, so I'll place these here. So, um, wherever I put the rail, I'm going to need a path over, and I'm probably just going to put torches next to it, so I'll probably do a double roof over the rail section. Not double thick, just double. But it needs to be <laughs> short enough that Enderman can't spawn in it. But I'll try to get this set up. Uh, as for the base framework of this, it's going to be kind of like this, only without this in the middle. So it'll be little too high empty spaces. With I'll probably not have the little pillar bits in. I'll probably knock them out each time. Uh, actually, I take that back. I'm going to put pillars in along these parts here. And I'm going to uh, probably put a ladder up. 
And then... I'm not sure. Then I guess I can always put the reset in there, along with that. I feel really uncomfortable without walls. If you know what I mean. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the base framework for that set up. I'm going to... Uh, as much as as much fun as it is testing to see exactly how far it is to drop them and whatnot, I think I might just... Uh, go look it up. I think it's the same general numbers as it is to kill everything else, despite the fact that they have more health. But I will look into that. I'm going to assume... I'm not sure how much... I don't know. But, uh... I will continue working on this, and whenever it comes to the primary guts of the thing, I will, uh... Oh, that's what we pick up next time. So, uh, for now, I'm gonna call this good. And... Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.